Number 14. Stingrays aren't normally aggressive. This isn't to say they're completely harmless. They have been known to kill humans. However, they generally only lash out if they're approached the wrong way. Stingrays only get aggressive when a diver gives them a reason to worry. This can happen if the diver approaches them the wrong way. Most stingrays attack when a diver is swimming directly over or in front of a ray, blocking its escape route. Accidentally stepping on a ray in shallow water is also a fast way to get stung. To avoid this, expert divers shuffle their feet when entering the ocean to avoid stepping directly on a stingray's back. Number 13. Stingrays are masters of camouflage. There are two things that make stingrays potent at hiding. For one, they have particularly flat bodies. This allows them to lie flat against the ocean floor and avoid detection. Another thing is that they have sandy to dark brown coloration. This helps them blend into the environment while waiting for prey. Number 12. They have no bones in their body. Not all fishes have bones in their body. Some instead have skeletons made of cartilage. Sharks and stingrays fall into this category of cartilaginous fishes or chondrichthys. Stingrays being cartilaginous makes a lot of sense for them because of their flattened structure and fluid movement. Cartilage allows them to grow into their shape without the restrictions that a solid tissue like bone would cause. But despite not having bone, they are still pretty strong. Their jaws are strong enough to crush rock-hard clamshells. They're also lighter and can get around easier. Number 11. They're closely related to sharks. Given that we mentioned both sharks and stingrays are cartilaginous fishes or chondrichthys, it should be no surprise that they are closely related species. The differences are stark, sure, yet there are stronger similarities. Stingrays look rather like flattened sharks, although they don't have teeth. However, they have similar skin. Besides that, sharks and stingrays also share some key internal organs, particularly the ampullae of Lorenzini. This is a special organ that allows for the detection of electrical impulses from other organisms, thus allowing them to be hunted down easily. Number 10. They can get very large and grow very old. Stingrays can grow up to pretty massive sizes depending on the species. Short-tailed stingrays are found off the southern coasts of Africa and Australia. They can reach 770 pounds in weight and grow 14 feet in length. Females reach sexual maturity faster than males, grow larger than males, and also live longer than males. Females live for an average of 15 to 22 years, while males only live for 5 to 7 years. In March 2015, in Thailand's Meiklong River, a team led by Nanterika Chansu, a veterinarian and professor at Chulalongkorn University in Bangkok, helped catch and measure a stingray that was 7.9 feet across and 14 feet long, and weighed an estimated 700 to 800 pounds. It was one of the largest freshwater fish ever caught. Number 9. They swim like birds fly. Stingrays have an unusual way of locomoting through water. However, as unusual as this method may seem, their movements through the water resemble the flight of birds through the sky. Most other fishes, sharks included, propel themselves through the water by wagging their tail fins or caudal fins. Stingrays, on the other hand, use their large wing-like pectoral fins to generate motor force. Stingray pectoral fin locomotion can be divided into two categories, undulatory and oscillatory. Stingrays who use undulatory locomotion have shorter, thicker fins, while stingrays that use oscillatory motion have longer, thinner pectoral fins. During undulatory motion, stingray fins generate multiple waves at a time. Number 8. They are different from manta rays. Stingrays and manta rays share the same biological class and the same biological order. However, manta rays come from a different biological family and that makes all the difference. When it comes to similarities between these two, both of them have flattened bodies and wide pectoral fins that are fused to the head. But one big difference is that manta rays lack a sting, while stingrays have one. It's even in the name. Another difference is that manta rays roam the open ocean, while stingrays prefer the bottom. Number 7. Some of them never stop swimming. 
Some sea creatures do not have the luxury of seizing their locomotion. They must keep swimming forever. One of these creatures is the cow nose ray. This is a species of eagle ray found throughout a large part of the Western Atlantic and Caribbean, from New England, United States, to Southern Brazil. In general, fish that must swim their whole lives must do so to keep their gills running. If they stopped swimming, they could die. They also migrate large distances over a year. The cow nose ray often migrates from the Gulf of Mexico to Trinidad, Venezuela, and Brazil. Number 6. Stingray babies are born fully developed. Aquatic creatures have a wide variety of ways of mating, gestating, birth, and parental care. Some of them perform internal fertilization, where sperm and eggs mix inside the female's body. Some of them perform external fertilization, where sperm and eggs combine outside the female's body. Although live births are considered a mammalian trait, some non-mammals tend to exhibit this characteristic. Stingrays are in this category, although they take things a step further. Stingray babies are born and fully developed, meaning that unlike the young of other creatures, they already know how to swim and hunt. This relieves their parents of the responsibility of having to take care of them. Sometimes though, when pregnant stingrays are caught, they instantly have a miscarriage. The exact reason for this isn't known. Number 5. They are as old as dinosaurs. All life emerged from the sea. Some creatures we see and interact with today have been around for a very long time without changing much. Octopi, sea snakes, and sharks are such creatures. But then, so are stingrays, whose oldest fossils date back 150 million years to the Jurassic period. Stingray fossils are hard to come by. This is because they lack bones. Cartilage, although durable, doesn't have the same kind of longevity that bones have. The most enduring materials that stingrays leave behind are their scales and teeth. These have been enough to place their birth as a biological group in history. It took about 100 million years for them to fully form. Number 4. They're solitary but can live in groups. Stingrays alternate between being solitary and living in groups. They live solitary lifestyles for most of their adult lives, but then they come together in groups when it's time to mate or migrate. These groups are known as schools and they can offer protection during vulnerable periods. For these creatures, it's the best of both worlds. Number 3. They can detect magnetic fields. We've already mentioned how stingrays can detect electrical fields using their ampullae of Lorenzini. This is the main sensory organ which they share with sharks that they use to hunt and track their prey since they don't have prominent eyes. But other than the ability to detect electric fields, these creatures can also detect magnetic fields. This trait commonly observed in birds helps them navigate. Tests were conducted on yellow stingrays in 2020 to demonstrate the creatures could use Earth's magnetic field to maintain their sense of direction while moving through their surroundings. They found evidence that proved that stingrays can detect changes within the geomagnetic field of the Earth. In addition, these stingrays use the magnetic field to their advantage to orient themselves. Number 2. They give birth each year. Stingray mating is another area of their lives in which they put their ampullae of Lorenzini to good use. During the breeding season, males of certain species use this apparatus to check for females who are signaling that they are ready for mating. When a male is courting a female, he follows her closely, biting at her pectoral disc. He then places one of his two claspers in her valve. After reaching sexual maturity, stingrays give birth every year. A female can have between two to six babies each year, which can live between 15 to 25 years in the wild. Females also have a mechanism of storing sperm and can impregnate themselves and give birth a long time after mating has taken place. Number 1. They are carnivorous and venomous. Stingrays are carnivores. Their favorite meals include mollusks, crustaceans, and small fish. They have a variety of feeding mechanisms. Some have specialized jaws that allow them to crush hard mollusk shells, while others use external mouth structures called cephalic lobes to guide plankton into their oral cavity. Some also hunt by ambushing their prey and sucking them beneath them and into their mouths if they come too close. Stingrays are famous for the skeletal stingers that extend out of their 
their tails and can secrete venom. One of the most famous cases of a stingray attack on a human was the death of Steve Irwin in 2006. It wasn't just the venom that killed him, but the location of his injury. The stinger penetrated his thoracic wall and caused serious trauma. Which stingray fact did you find most surprising? Let us know in the comment section below.